when I first withdrew, I didn't realize how many resources there were for students that were struggling. Whether it was like a chronic struggle or just an acute struggle, I really had no clue because I didn't want to talk about it. And no one else was talking about it either, so there was not that network. So now I feel like because I've gone through these struggles and I've gone through them twice, it's, it's almost my responsibility to kind of be a beacon for other students that might not feel as empowered to say something and kind of seek out these sort of services. At Rice, we have a laser focus on ensuring that every student we welcome to our campus can thrive here. Ensuring that means that we're paying attention to the backgrounds and the needs of all of our students, that we are learning from them about their experiences and ensuring that we're providing the programs that they need. For example, we have the Rice Emerging Scholars Program, which provides a strong bridge for students who are coming from under-resourced high schools and a bridge that extends all the way through their time here at Rice, not just in the summer before they matriculate at the university. So there's a lot of things that over the course of like my six years on and off here that have really evolved and I think the university has really fought really hard to understand the experiences of low-income students and address those in practical ways. We want our low-income students to own this place, to know that we claim them with joy, with love, and with great pride. And when they leave here, they're not a low-income student. They're a Rice graduate, and they are gonna change the world. Graduating from Rice for me, after all the trials and tribulations I've been through, would be practical in the sense that I can do things for my family financially that I would never be able to do otherwise, but I think more importantly, the symbolic function of me graduating is that regardless of what you're going through, if you came from the poorest household in America, if you are struggling with mental health problems, if you don't feel like you fit in, regardless of any of that, if you seek out the right people and you have the right support services and you just keep fighting, that you will be able to come through on the other side a better person, a better scholar, and be able to change the world in the way that you envisioned when you first came to the university.